So right here is what part of what I got at the auction um, Saturday. Let me go ahead to the back and show you. Okay, this is the back. Let me pull stuff out of the back. I'm going to pull stuff out of the back. Because it'll be easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some stuff out. I'm going to show you some things. And then um, I'll bring it in the house to list. So it's not too bad out here today. This box... Um, Grab it. Oh, sorry. This box. Can you put it down there? Um, I, there were a bunch of, this house had, <clears throat> it was a house, and then um, there was a separate building not connected to the house, and they just kept adding on, adding on, adding on. It was an old house, and then they just kept adding on to it and made it into their collection house. So, it was where they had all their display shelves, um, display cases. It's where they kept over, I want to say, like, 5,000 Barbies, Hallmark ornaments, stuff like that. So, in, um, they had these cupboards that were, like, kitchen cupboards, but they weren't really kitchen, <clears throat> if that makes sense. But anyway, so, I said, I'll give you $2 for everything in these cupboards, and I had kind of looked through them first, and somebody else bid against me. So I got everything in the cupboard for $7.50, $7.50. So um, here's some of the stuff that was in the cupboard. Um, they were really into Barbies. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. My throat is really scratchy. So um, now here's some stuff that was in there. Looks like I'm going to be in the Dow sock clothing um, business for a little while. There's some jewelry, um, some Dow shoes, you know, a little baseball mitt. Some of this stuff probably is not worth anything, but others I'm thinking might be worth something. Um, this, this was in here. It says John Wright Cupid, and it's this little Cupid doll. So I don't know if he's worth anything. He's kind of flocked or fuzzy a little bit. So it says uh, John Wright, 1999. So yeah, I'm not sure if he's worth anything, but I thought he was cute. Maybe now I got to pick up this sleeve for this box before it blows away. <sighs> don't mind my. You saw my pants. Don't mind them. They're my pajama pants. Um, all kinds of stuff, you know, um, foreign type fashions, just all kinds of stuff. There's a, uh, old, old label thing, um, let's see, there's some old books down there, there's, this is all, like, doll shoes and doll socks. So, lots of stuff, and I got two boxes full of stuff in that cupboard, and I left a lot because, you know, some of it was just junk, but, um, my neighbors are all leaving for work, so I'm sure they're thinking that I'm, oh, I got these, which are, um, JCPenney's, and then there's some Montgomery Wards and some Sears Wish books, which I always usually do pretty well on those. <clears throat> some scissors, um, S K I A R or L A R, and then they're from Germany, so usually I do pretty good on sewing scissors. Claws is a good name. Um, I recognize that name, you recognize it. So, turn the camera here. So maybe you can see some more stuff. Um, yeah, this Madame Alexander doll. Just in a beatable case. Some books. Uh, some stamps I'll keep and use. So yeah, 
Let me put this box back. Oh wait, what else is under here? Oh, I got these. These are really cute. They're Winnie the Pooh napkin rings. I just thought those were cute. Of course, Disney, I have to get them. Mickey Mouse, old Mickey Mouse pin. Mary Boston pin. Just some stiff. Okay. <clears throat> You're not going to be able to see it all in this video. Because there's a ton, as you can see. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Let me try to find some good boxes. WD-40, Pop Secret Pop Man. Okay, here's some more boxes. This is just old canning stuff. So I'm not sure. Um, I bought the whole closet full of stuff for a dollar. Um, this was in it. Oh, a little doll parasol. Um, some more doll shoes, some more doll shoes, these are, it says strut the rooster on it, not sure what that means, um, oh. these are open, um, some doll shoes that are obviously open because these are missing, Here's some that are not missing, and here's a lot that are missing. <laughs> um, and these don't have anything on them. Oh, I bet those went on that, probably. But they're missing some, but. Um, sorry. More doll shoes, more doll shoes, more Barbie shoes. They're missing a lot of them. Um, like I said, I paid a dollar for everything in the closet. So, mm. these are Dawn plus four to six inch dolls, it says. They look like little purses. Um, just clothes. A mystery box. I'll see what's in here. I don't have a... Oh, where's those scissors? Where are the scissors? Of course, they're not going to be on the corner. I need them to be on. No, they're going to be away. Sorry if all you see is box. Uh, okay, well, I can't get the scissors. Of course not. Um, hmm. Oh, that's what nails are for, right? These say, they say Vanna outfits on them. I don't know what that means. Okay, oh, tough tape even though it's old. <laughs> All right. Oh, just dollar tapes. More shoes, the skateboards, oh, a whole bunch of hangers, there's fashion hangers, but then there are Mattel hangers down there, you can see. More clothes, pepper outfits, and miscellaneous. More doll shoes and a little little clutches. Get that back in there. Okay, next. My phone. Oh, look, I got an iPhone. Woohoo! Um, just some books. Uh. 
wanted this. This is a kind of a nice um, umbrella, and I usually do pretty good with umbrellas. <coughs> um, Easter novelty. Let me get these in here so I can dig. Dig, dig. This is mint boxed. I don't know, summer of 90, Galoob, um, kind of a cute magazine, so some of you might want that. Assemble. Just some, like, um, coloring books. May of 1977, Oscar the Grouch cleans up and it's never been used. So Sesame Street books, mystery coloring book. Never been used. Just a bunch of books. I, I do pretty good with um, <clears throat> vintage color books. I really do. So, Dick and Brown, Kirk, Dick Brown, Kirkville, New York. And then some old Christmas ornaments. Um, and when I see scratched up paper like that, I don't really dig too much farther. Um, because that usually means there was a mouse in here, and I don't want to dig. So, I saved that for the men in the house. Um, just a bunch of doll magazines. But this right here is kind of cool. Corning. Um, it has the glass blower uh, symbol on it, which means it's a little bit older. Made in USA. Just a Corning ball. Of course, Corning is pretty close to me, so I do find quite a bit of Corning stuff, um, only because it's close to me. So let me go ahead and get this. And again, you see my pajama pants. Let's go to the other side and see what we have. And like I show everything, um, <clears throat> just kind of works. These are the sombreros I was talking about on the morning show. They're humongous, really nice um, sombreros. Let's see this one. Oh, there are names inside, Ted. Let's see. This one says, you can see that, La Guadalupana. Um, yeah, I don't know. Very, very sturdy. I mean, really sturdy. There's one. Carefully put that over there. Here's another one. Um, again, very sturdy. This was my favorite because I love the um, colors and the guitars on there. And this one says, uh, C A L I D A D, Kaladad, I think. Put that one over there. Um, the other ones are. Let's see if I can get to the other one. One of, one of the other ones. I Oh no, they're kind of hidden. Um, <laughs> so I can't get to that right now. So, oh my goodness. Do you see the mess? Yeah, I see the mess. This must have... Oh, there's a whole box there that spilled. I just got these Popeye. Just a box of Popeye things. Stuff that, they're all the same. I paid a buck for them, so... And these are the um, Hallmark Mary Miniatures. Oh my gosh, you do not understand how many of these Hallmark Mary Miniatures I have. But inside, she's coming in the house with me. She's coming in the house with me. Now I know why I bought this box. However, oh my gosh, there's a Pinocchio. He's coming in the house with me. A baby mini. Okay, well, all the rest are pretty much Donald all over my van. Um, some more minis. She's got a weird face. What the heck? To look and see. <coughs> so, um. <coughs> all the rest are all over my van. Which I'm kind of used to. We've gone to auctions, boxes, boxes thrown all over the van, um, especially when you leave it in here and you don't take it to your storage unit, 
and you just start pulling stuff out of here to list and then you drive around and yeah here's a Kodak um, <clears throat> instant camera uh, it's called the handle it's in the box Kodak instant cameras aren't really worth too much but um, it came in a box of stuff so um, also you know uh, careful with Polaroids because retrospect they're not buying anymore right now so um yeah watch out for that um because they're not used to be when you bought a polaroid it was a sure thing you definitely sell it to them well now you don't have that sure thing so <coughs> these are danielle greens never heard of them they're brand new in the box this is a holly hobby plate set kids plate set mini tough tools Betty Boop, a book bank. I've sold every one of my banks like that. Um, just a little guy. And this, this, I can't wait. It's a Buzz Lightyear train. Aliens, Zerg. So, that's what that is. <clears throat> and of course, being the kid I am. Um, I had to get it, so. <coughs> Down below here, which is, um, stuff Chris is going to take out because it's stuffed animals. And you never know if there are mouses in it, but you have, like, Little Green Giant, Pillsbury Doughboy. Um, it looks like there was a mouse in here at one time because something looks like it was open. This guy, Flip Wilson, I don't know who he is. And then this is Geraldine. This says it is from 1970. <laughs> Street Corner Productions. Hmm. That sounds great. <laughs> uh, McDonald, which we've all seen before, or I have anyway. Um, Chiquita Banana. And she is from 1975. Hamburglar. And he is from 1987. I don't even think they have those characters anymore. I don't know. Eat It All. Ice cream. Eat It All Cone. Division of Maryland Cup Company. Stuffed with new polyester. Uh, it doesn't have a date, so I'm thinking late 70s, early 80s, like everything else. This is the Swiss Miss Dow without her outfit, 1977. Um, Jack Frost, no tag. <coughs> Burger King Dow. No tag except for the sticker. Oh, McDonald's Hamburglar, no tag. It's, it's been chewed up. Next strip. Oh, 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 that goes with that. Dang. And this, I had one, or my brother had one of these when he was little, so I know it's from the 70s. Let's see. Knickerbocker. I don't see a date quite yet. There might be one on there and I just can't see it. His voice is gone. Which is really usual for those type of things, but I think they'll still sell. I don't know. I haven't priced that out in a long time. I haven't found one in a long time. <coughs> right, and then let's bring this box down. Because I'll bring this inside. Because these usually always have the hands broke. This one does not. It's an infant of Prague. Um, it's not broke, and I don't want it to be broke. I'll put it up there. And all these little, um, these mainly, <clears throat> if I don't already have it, they're going to be for me. They're little, like, reproduction metal, excuse me, metal wind-up toys. Um, some I already have. So, some I don't, they don't really, they don't sell for a whole lot, um, <clears throat> but 
like I said, it for me. So, Hallmark cars, um, Hallmark, there are Hallmark ornaments freaking everywhere. There's another Hallmark ornament, Retro Barbie, which we have a bunch on right now. This is cute. Sometimes these um, vintage, <coughs> excuse me, um, music boxes do really well. So, Harrington. So, definitely sell that. Um, Infant of Prague. I'll bring that in the house with me in a little bit. Put him over here so he doesn't get squished. I got a whole bunch of these, and they are crazy quilt pieces, and they've been hand done, hand sewn, which you can tell, um, hand, what a piece, so these, <clears throat> I've sold these before, I've sold ones where they had like a velvet on them, I don't know if there's any like that in here, for 20 bucks a square. Um, these probably won't go for that high because there's no like velvety or um, these ones had embroidered patterns on them so these I might just lot up the squares and just sell is a lot um, unless there's something really unique in here which I don't mm, that one's got some velvet but it's still not as ornate as the other ones I sold but there's a million of them in here But there's other stuff in here. Um, again, this is a. There's something here I wanted. Where is it? There's some glasses in here. And then there was a. Oh, oh, I didn't know this was in here. Oh, okay. Well, there's a whole bag of glasses in there. But there was a sheet set in here. Right here. Okay. <coughs> it's a Holly Hobby brand new in the box fitted sheet. So surely this has got to be worth something, um, being brand new. So, okay, that's all I'm going to show you right now. I got to get inside and I got to pull some stuff and get listing for the listing challenge. I got to get pictures and, um, yeah. So if you don't know anything about the listing challenge, it's on the Chick Picker <clears throat> YouTube channel. It's on Wednesdays, um, starts at... 9 Eastern and it goes for 8 hours um, and on Sundays it starts at 11 Eastern and goes for 8 hours and um, it's just really fun. It's $2 to enter. <clears throat> you have to um, within that 8 hours, so say on Wednesday it's 9 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 9 to 5 Eastern you have to take the pictures list the item sell the item and get paid for the item all within that time frame and then you get a point and the person that has the most points wins the pot of money everybody pitches in two dollars i mean the pot could be 20 bucks i've seen the pot go all the way up to 100 bucks so um yeah i mean it's it's a fun time it gets you motivated to list um and you you know can you get on the youtube channel <coughs> it's live you could chat um it's just fun you know it's a fun listing time so stop over there and join the challenge if you'd like or just stop over and watch and see what it's all about for a little while all right thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day and um i'm sorry i didn't show all of it there's just so much when i go to auctions we get a ton um we usually fill this van um I already listed a few things. I got two Timex, vintage Timex uh, counter displays, some um, Brett styles, <clears throat> some Barbies, I'm trying to think of what else, uh, two military gas cans, and some, uh, some other stuff I don't remember, but I've already listed those. And, um, Everything you see in the van, plus that stuff we paid, I think, $900 for. And just the stuff I listed will make at least five or six. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer. When you hit auctions like this, which, 
I mean, you do hit auctions that you're like, oh my gosh, there's nothing here. You're lucky if you spend a hundred bucks. You're lucky if you spend 50 bucks. Sometimes you walk out spending nothing. Um, but this is a good haul. Um, I'm excited to see what some of these bring because I've never seen them before. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the Holly Hobby. I'm really excited about the sombreros. I wish I could show you the other two, but they're kind of in there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I do. And <clears throat> I don't usually do hauls often. I always say I want to do them more often. So I'm not even going to say that because I say it and then I don't. But um, I just kind of wanted to show you because I feel bad I can't show you everything that I got because my van is usually full. Um, but I just wanted to show you the few things that I got. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.